welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be tracking expenses for i think we're going to do what the first two weeks of february because we are now at the what is it the 16th um <laughs> We'll have to check it when we get in there, okay? But we're going to be tracking my expenses to see what um, I spent. And um, first things first, guys. Hey, my name is Tina. I'm a cash budgeter. I do a lot of different budgeting videos. And then I also do other type of videos too. Just something to kind of make it fun for the channel. And then also, guys, if you have not already joined the family, please make sure to join the family. Click on the subscribe button. And then also click on the notification bell to make sure that you don't miss any of my videos. And without further ado, guys, let's go ahead, hop in. Let's get started well, before we hop in we're going to do our wellness in a box card and we're going to do this really quick and we have really went through a lot of the self-care ones so i don't even know if there's any left which i don't think there's any <laughs> so we are really seriously going through this okay all right so um just for fyi y'all aiden is playing in the background so a little bit through this video y'all might hear me trying to take over a little bit um, being louder than he is because he is having fun with this Thomas the Train. All right, so this one says take time for an evening skincare routine. And you know, guys, we are focusing on self-care this year. So this one right here is a really, 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 really good one. And thinking about self-care, y'all, I got like a $35 gift card that I got for Christmas that I need to use. So I might go ahead and look on a Rakuten because um i want to try to utilize that i don't know if any of you guys have tried rakuten um so i have started doing that so i'll put a link in the description box for you guys that way you can buy things through the site but you get like cash back or whatever but if you have tried rakuten please post in the comments how you like it and what you like about it and or if you know somebody that has it so we will be trying that um and sephora was one of the ones on there um, okay. All right. So what I'm doing things a little bit different than what I normally do. Cause usually I have like my little micro note. So I'm not sure how I'm going to actually like doing this because as you guys know, um, in my, um, cash wallet that I take with me daily, um, I have these budget sheets that I was trying. I had those in my stash. So I was like, let me just give it a try. See how it works. Um, already I'm like, how am I going to categorize the weeks? Because normally in here, as you guys can see, this is an old one. Um, I categorize it by the week, like the first through the eighth. And then I'll do like the date, the details, the amount, the category. And then I use the stickers up top. But these aren't categorized like that, like by the week. I am so, not sure how this is actually going to work. So if it does not work and it becomes like a harder task than what it should be, Tina's going back to the other um thing that i normally do all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get stickers guys the sticker book is from a rec collection i got this at michael's um i got it from the clearance aisle and it was only like five dollars so if you are looking for this book and you can't find it on the clearance aisle this is like an old school um sticker book um that michael's had um i didn't see anything on amazon for this maybe you can find it but you might be able to like find something like on macari or something else um where somebody is like selling one that they had or someone is selling one that they just didn't use they got it impulse buy and then didn't use it all right so we're going to be using our no spend stickers this is going to be for our no spend days and we are going to be tracking using our label box stickers i'm just going to grab all of these and i do have like a chunk of these numbers stickers in the back y'all i don't have any certain type of way that i supposed to file those or whatever whatnot but yeah we're gonna do that okay so i'm gonna put my wallet over here so we're just going to see how um this works out so we're going to go to february and we're going to go to our monthly um outlook calendar this is just how i track my spending it's fun for me and i like to do it and when i do it it makes it stick so that's why um i like to do it here and then i do it on also my weekly expense tracker sheets um there that's where it's at all right so and then i am preparing for my other cash envelope stuffing so that's the thing i like about these little stickies you know you can just stick them wherever so um because payday is friday so i'm already kind of like preparing for that to come okay so we are going to do because today is actually today is actually the 15th so we can actually do um we could do two weeks up to today because the last week started well ended on the 13th all right so 
like I said, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. I'm already like ah, trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Okay. All right. So, um, we have, and then these are my cash envelopes. I'm going to see if I can scoot this over a little bit so I can. So for groceries, we shopped on the fourth and I use this little ledger here. And a lot of you guys um, asked me where, um, if I make these and I don't make them, but I'm going to tell you guys exactly how to make them real quick. This is what this came from. So basically all I did was just Put it to however what size i wanted it to you know how far i wanted to come up because if i wanted it to go a little bit higher um i'll use this mark and then i could put like a little tab on there but i didn't want it like that but um basically all i did was put it to the size that i wanted it and then i just basically cut it to the size and then i just rounded the edges so that way i didn't have to cut these these are already there for me and these little tool dividers they're little like little what is it called? Myler tool dividers that I got before our office depot closed. Um, they were like a dollar a pack. So that's why y'all, I don't really, I'd be using it for different things. Okay. All right. So we're going to just stick that right there. And that's just something that I use for a color code, um, to track my expenses. Okay. So for groceries, groceries is, um, in the blue. So we're going to grab the blue. I'm using my stickers are over here. Um, and like I said, we did go over budget for groceries, so I had to pull that from the a buffer account. So that was $55.73 over. Y'all hear Aiden? Um, <laughs> okay, so that's Walmart. And then that is, we did $150.73. Yeah, $150 so this time, groceries, we should not have to get um, a lot or anything like that. And I am, this is on the 4th. So I need to go and see, you see what I'm saying? I have to go through these because here we went to Walmart. So I guess I'll just go through each one separately. And because like I said, the other one was kind of lined up. So, I mean, we'll just figure it out. So what I've actually done, I've actually um, made some um, coupon envelopes, but I got some coupons in there. Um, I made those and um, I just use what I had because I want to make sure that I'm really going to actually stick to this. So that's why I just pulled these out of my little box and i just put like little um little labels on here and i just did like personal hair body face and coupons and i do have some coupons that um kroger's um sent me that i already have in there and these are like super easy to keep um because like i said groceries like i said in every video groceries are going up sky high and you really can't like seriously find anything and i know my friend was saying that she said the organic stuff seems i'm trying to I know I'm struggling because I'm trying to put the coupon behind the envelopes, but it just won't go back. <laughs> um, she was saying that the the organic stuff was starting to be cheaper than the regular stuff. And I'm like, what? Because it's always the other way around. Okay, so we got groceries for Walmart. So um, that is what we have. Um, hopefully you guys can see it through this little thing here, but I'm going to bring it out. So that's what we got. So we had $5.95 and that's what we spent. And I do like this better for like seriously like real time tracking um, because I write everything down because it's more easier. This is something like if you're just starting out because you have it right here exactly with your money. And if you have a binder that has a pen, it's all sitting right there. So you know what I'm saying? So you're going to do it. All right. So for gas, um, we went on the first. We did $40 in gas is car. So that is purple. So that was Walmart, Walmart, and I'm going to do gas, and that was for $40. Yeah, that adding extra to my, um, adding extra to the gas was like a smart idea. So that is on the first. So we're probably going to have to do the no spins later after we do all this, because this is not as um, pretty much straightforward organized as my other one that I have. All right, so on the 10th, went to Walmart and got 40 more dollars of gas and that is walmart and that is forty dollars for that and that is on the 10th so we're like pretty much skipping all around you guys let me know if you like the skip around or you like it where it was like this where i just did it straight but i think skipping around kind of makes it like a little bit oh ah okay all right so the 14th is on 
um, the next week. So we're not going to actually put that there because we're only doing um, week one through six and then we're doing week seven through 13. I keep it like that to kind of keep it like like organized. And so I won't get like overwhelmed with tracking. So if you're just starting out, that might be something that you might want to do. Um, all right, so next we have, this is Aiden's envelope, and Aiden didn't spend anything in his envelope for his cash um, expenses, so Aiden still has the same amount in there, and you see what I'm saying, guys, when I say, like, it's, it's like, like, real-time, like, tracking, um, so, and this is all of the spending that I do from cash envelopes. Okay, so for Walmart, um, this is for household items. Um, this is still considered as in grocery. I used to break it up, but like I said, to make things pretty much simple, I started just kind of like categorizing it together because when I kind of like broke it up too much, it was like a little bit overwhelming. And I was like, I, your girl can't do this. <laughs> so, um, so Walmart, that was um, $71.41. And that's household items. And that was seriously over budget, y'all. I got some paper towels. That's on the fourth. I got like some paper towels. I got like um, toilet paper. I got, what else did I get? Oh, I got like some sandwich bags for Aiden's lunch. Some freezer bags. The, the, the Ziploc bags. I got like some Lysol and so, oh, laundry detergent. And I got some... Um, fabric softener and that junk was like when I scanned it I was like uh did you scan something twice <laughs> and I was like wow so it was I had put $50 in there for us to get that and it ended up being $71.41 so I'll bring this up so you guys can see it so um ended up doing $21.41 over so basically we took that out of the buffer account so that's why I stress to you guys that if you do like a zero based budget I know some people say I know on um Chrissy's live they were saying that um if you have money left in your checking account it's not zero based but it's like a it, I guess it depends on how you make it um but um I consider it zero based budget because those dollars do have a job they are to cover our butt if we have something comes in like this that um I had to end up just using the check card and then just suck it up and it paid for that. All right. So for personal, let's see what we brought. Okay, y'all. So this right here, my personal money is my personal money to spend what I want to spend, right? Okay. So y'all don't judge me. So I got like a little cute little LV minder from, um, and I got some other stuff from, um, um, I ordered it online. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I ordered it online. So I know I was like, what am Tina, what are you talking about? So it came up to $54. So I have $6 left and, um, yeah, but like I said, that's why I have a set envelope in here so that I don't judge myself for what I buy. But once I get it in, I'll show you guys exactly what it is. So, um, so that way I know that I have $6 cause that was money that I had set aside for me to buy whatever I want to buy so I don't feel guilty or I'd be like I should never bought that or whatever whatnot so okay so um I got a um ticket y'all yeah, remember when I scratched that um that ticket from beautiful beautifully me and you and I scratched exactly the red officer I went I went and got me a lottery ticket I know I know I got I paid five dollars for the lottery ticket and um I won fifteen I want no okay so I got I paid five dollars for a ticket so that is like that's some personal stuff right there right I bet you're probably like I know Tina did not just go get a lottery ticket I, I know wrong. okay let me write on here I think I wrote that wrong okay so we got ticket so we got five dollars okay I'm, I'm scratched all over that all right so I scratched it and y'all like you better go play a ticket so I went and got a ticket and um like five dollars right so I got um ten dollars back all right so i put my little five dollars back in there and then i took five dollars to pay debt <laughs> so i know complicated situation all right so that left me back with sixty dollars okay so then i had the stuff that i ordered online for myself and like i said with budgeting don't feel like you have to be like super strict on yourself still you still treat yourself if you know that like you're crushing your goals and you're doing what you're supposed to do and you can always make it fun so don't feel like you have to like be a stickler and not you know what i'm saying not get yourself um you know what i'm saying get yourself something yeah so far it's already in the mail the stuff that i got so 
and I, I'll show you guys when it gets here. You guys are going to be like, Tina, are you serious right now? Okay, so that's on the 12th. All right, so like I said, we have $6 left. So we're going to put that back in here. All right, so next we have Beauty. So Beauty, I don't think I brought anything. So Beauty, we still have our $25 in there. So that is awesome. And I do need to get some more Proceed With Caution Main Choice hair gel. That stuff is like the truth. Like, I need to get some more. But I know Sally's discontinued it. Well, it was on clearance, so I'm figuring they discontinued it. All right, so this is the Dollar Tree. And guess what, y'all? Look, 15, 15, 15, 15. Okay, one time for your girl. I don't know i think that 25 cents done something to me but one time for your girl because i have not been to the dollar store i don't know because like i said i've been bringing my lunch every single day so i don't have an urge to go buy snacks or anything like that and y'all what was your girls and y'all what was your girls one of her goals for this month was to continue to bring lunch to work so i kind of like I, that's what i've been doing so i am going to actually highlight that because i have been crushing that crushing it all right so that's was one of my um goals there and then um oh yeah i gotta finish filling up my real my tracker here all right so um dollar tree okay so we went through that let me make sure i got that yeah i cannot believe i still had money in the dollar tree but i like i said i haven't been down there all right so for budgeting i did take um for supplies i went to hobby Lobby and i got a few things so that was on the 11 so that is personal i'm trying to see which one i, I guess i'll do this one all right hobby lobby and that was for 9.29 because i had ten dollars in there so for the change and that was on the 11th two all right so for this one here all right like i said if you're like i said this this right here kind of like i know i like my book but this one kind of like makes it a lot easier because you see exactly your transaction and your transaction matches what's in your envelope so that makes it a lot easier so this is seriously like something cool for like a beginner so you can get these budget sheets pretty much anywhere um this was from the conscious wallet that i got so i had a stash of them so i was like i'm just going to use them all right so i have i added ten dollars to plasma hard life so the 71 cents i moved to bank so that was part of the change that i i'll link that video up top it was a video i rolled my coin yes y'all i hand rolled my coin and um that was part of that change that i put in there so sometimes if i have like the extra change i just put it in there um, and I need to start doing it, um, better with doing it transfer to my bank. All right. So next we have eat out. So let's see what we got eat out. And I got a coupon in there. We haven't went to, um, the wasabis yet, but we do have a coupon guys. Look at this coupon for $5 off purchase of $25 or more. So we do have that. All right, so we went to Chipotle on the 4th. So that is, um, I do eat out with groceries. So that is slash because that's still food. And Chipotle is so good. It's on on its good day when they when everything is pretty much hot and everything. That's when it's super good. All right, so um, that's on the 4th. Well, I have a lot. Okay, so this is where I say where if I don't have enough space here, I'll put it down here. And then I just basically 2, 4, 22. And I just put it down here. So, like I said, I don't worry about if I don't have enough space in there. All right, so next, and this is where we um, use the um, app for the free Zaxby meals. And that was on the 14th. But um, we're going to save that for next week because y'all i am so sorry aiden is in there rearranging everything <laughs> so i'm like i'm like i hope they can't hear him um that's y'all's little bestie y'all's little bestie all right so that will be on the next check-in that we have okay all right so you guys let me know how you like the budget sheets better or if you like when I do it this way. So you guys will let me know what, which one is kind of like. I like how this is all lined up. But I do like how this is like some real time track. Like this is some serious, serious tracking. 
All right, so, all right, so all of the other days, which we don't have, I use no spins. Even if it's on a bill day that I have a bill come out, it's considered a no spin because these right here are, let me show you guys. And this is where I told you guys I did do my paycheck budget so you guys can actually see what I did. Um, I just didn't film the video. I didn't have time to do it because, like I said, I have to, you know, get aided and I want to make sure that I get the orders out. So, um, basically, the, um, what was I about to say? Basically, the bills that come out, like the Amazon, the Geico, y'all lost my train of thought. Amazon, Geico, I am so sorry. Wells, daycare, day, daycare brings, like on this day here, on Friday, we have um, daycare coming out. So this right here is a no spin, um, not just because we have the bills come out, but it's because we have items that I purchased out of my cash envelope wallet. Now, on, let's see, let's see. If we had, um, like these days, let's do this. Like these days here would be considered no spin. But you might say, hey, Tina, hey, you have a bill that's coming out that's Geico. And so even though that's a bill that's already accounted for over here, so that is already taken out of my paycheck budget. So that's why I consider this a no spin day because it's not coming out of this cash envelope binder right here. So that's how I track it. But like I said, people might track it different. They might consider it um, that it's, not a no spend day because it is still cash going out but like i said you tweak how um you tweak how your how it works for you like this makes sense to me um because i set goals look at y'all look at this look at this look at this look at this this is like unbelievable well i don't really think because like i said i tell you what honestly on my lunch break I bring stuff for myself to do like I work on like my um, work stuff and I um, or I might play my switch. I might play Animal Crossing or something like that. I bring my lunch. I sit in the back. I bring my snacks so I don't get the urge to go to the dollar store and I don't go anywhere because I know that usually like I used to go on my lunch break and I used to I mean that's like time that you go and you like buy stuff because maybe at work you're like overwhelmed or you're just like or something happened and it just upset you so you go on your lunch break you're like well i'm just going to go to this store i'm going to go to the store i'm going to see what they got so to make myself feel better and that's when that impulse spending kick in and trust me i know and i have literally just been sitting in my break room at work and yeah and I don't actually, I don't go anywhere. And actually, it's been like super cold. So that's another thing. <laughs> All right. So uh, we're supposed to do 12 no spins. That was on the goal. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gonna crush it. Gonna crush it. Okay. So I'm going to write that there. I didn't write that on here. 12 no spins. That is one of our budget, another one of our budget focus. And um, credit card debt is another budget focus. And I am crushing the credit card debt. All right, so we're going to go over here. So I'm not sure how this is going to work with like flipping back and forth, but we, I guess we can just do it. Okay, so Tuesday. So, all right, guys. And for the record, this was not recording at all. So um, I look back and I was like, I'm not even recording. So I have never, ever had this happen because you guys know that I told you I record everything on my phone and I need to declutter, digital declutter um, my phone. So, um, yeah, that's what I need to put on my to-do list for today and for my to-do list for tomorrow. So I've already basically pretty much filled everything in on my expense tracking. So we're just going to go over this really quick. Um, so all I did was I just go, I don't know why I put this in there. So I just go by the weeks like here. This is um, two, one, gas, and that's $40. And then I just go by the week. And then um, I highlight color code all of the groceries. And then I highlight color code the um, gas and then I do um, total spent for the whole week and then the total was two hundred and sixty two dollars and fourteen cents and um, and then I did it for the next week which is the 17th to 13th this is another reason why I go ahead and fill all the dates in so it makes it a little bit easier so I know what I'm looking for so that's why when we did see the 14th of when we went to Zaxby's I told you guys that I was going to save it for the next tracking um, so then I did Walmart for the gas and then I just got all of that information from right here. 
I like to do it because I like to be able to flip to this and I can say, hey, I spent this much for this week. I spent this much for that week. And basically, I can see if it's something that I need to add more to. Like next um, time I cash stuff, I will put a little bit more in gas because that's what I did last time. And that worked out perfectly. And I did roll some money over from last um, two weeks. But this time, I'm not going to have anything um, because I have barely had anything left. I, well, I didn't have anything left. And then also for household for groceries, same thing. I will have to add a little bit more to groceries, but we don't have to get as much. And then for household, I will add just a little bit to that. I don't have to put a lot in there because <laughs> we got a lot of stuff for household. So that's how basically I use the expense tracker sheets. Some people use them, some people don't. But this is just basically so even though I do, like I can see it here, but this is like a more detailed version of me saying like, hey, I spent $262.14 since the first week of February. All right, so the next paycheck, you know what I'm saying? So it kind of makes it make me kind of feel like if I need to cut expenses somewhere or if I, like I said, I need to add more. All right, so basically, guys, that is pretty much all of what this expense tracking is. All right, so this, and y'all, it is it seriously got serious because my camera cut off again. <laughs> serious guy. Okay, so as soon as I get off of this phone, I am going to clear because I got like a thousand apps. I got like a thousand videos, a thousand folders, a thousand lives. I got like so much stuff on this thing. So um, we are going to wrap this up. Yes, we will wrap it up. All right. So if you have not already checked out my Instagram, it's called a pink off life. And then I also have a TikTok. It's called a pink off life. Please make sure you follow me there. And then if you did like this video, guys, please give it a, a thumbs up because, you know, I do appreciate it. And then like I always say, until next time, guys, peace.